Hi guys, it's Nina from VR Focus, uh, and I'm here at TPCast, joined by... Woody Hoffman uh, from TPCast, I'm the general manager of the Americas. So, uh, you guys uh, work with wireless virtual reality, right? Uh, we are the wireless virtual reality company. We are the only ones today shipping a wireless model for virtual reality headset. The only ones. Yes. Uh, and right now, you guys have different modules going for the Oculus Rift and for the HTC Vive. Are you guys also doing it for other uh, headsets as well? Uh, yes. We announced a couple of days ago that we'll be doing it also for the Microsoft MR headset, uh, the Oculus Rift and the T HTC uh, from uh, Vive from Tipica from HTC have been shipping since uh, November. So. Since November. And yeah. are, the, are the numbers going very well? The uh, numbers are going well, yes. We are very happy about the results. And Is we, there, we are catching up. You're catching up, yeah. I mean, every, everybody's looking for wireless virtual reality, right? That's so correct. So you guys provide that solution? Yes, that's correct. So uh, the, uh, the market has been looking for a wireless headset for a long time. And uh, there's been those that are uh, the mobile phone that you can put on the, the head, those are wireless, and there was no uh, wireless PCVR equipment. So we are the first one to ship it, and uh, we are already in production and uh, getting very good response from the market. Are you guys going to perhaps any console headsets as well, like the PlayStation VR? Uh, we, we are doing uh, the wireless piece. We are not doing a, a headset uh, per se. So. We are teaming up with the leading vendors in the market and uh, adapting the wireless to their headsets. Okay, so uh, at CES, uh, Vive announced that they are releasing a wireless adapter. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, that's right. They, they, they announced that it will be ready in Q3, as far as I recall. And uh, so we'll be looking what they do and we'll try to match what they do and uh, maybe do a better one and uh, complement them with our solution. Okay, so this is the new sort of uh, update on what you guys have, uh, and the difference is is that the battery pack is now on the back of the head. That's right? correct. That's correct. So we, we provide a head, head plate that is uh, uh, integrated with the with the HMD. Uh, the receiver is on the top. The battery is integrated, and it's a uh, hot swappable. Uh, it's different from the previous version, uh, or let's say from the version we are shipping today that the battery goes on your belt, and the, the battery going, going on the belt can support up to six hours, while this can support just two hours. So there's some advantages to that model and some advantages to this model. Okay, so, um, th I mean, does this make this a lot heavier on the, on the headset? Uh, you know, when, if you want everything integrated, there's not much to do. The battery is the, mo the heaviest part here. So if you need the battery on the, and you want to have one piece, that's the way to do it. The battery powers the headset and also the wireless piece, so you need to do you need to pay some penalty there. But if it's not good, then you can always take this apart and just put it on the on the belt. Now you mentioned the reason you're doing this is for virtual reality arcades, right? The fact that it's an easy swap. That's correct. So virtual reality arcades will be able to really uh, put it on the players very quick and easy. Uh, also for uh, on users that want to have it all in one piece, that can be as well uh, useful, but it depends on the user. Uh, we believe the wireless is what will take the VR experience to the next level. Uh, now, if it's on the head or on the belt, the battery is the same. In my mind, it's supposed to be the same. It depends on what more, what's more convenient. So, um, and, uh, so we did both. So you have two models to select from. And the market's always changing, um, and this year specifically, there's a lot of all-in-one headsets that are coming out. Uh, how do you guys see that changing the virtual reality space? For a while, I mean, PC VR is going to be the main thing that people want to go wireless with. But sure. when it comes to all-in-one headsets, how do you see the market uh, changing? You know, it's all about price as well. So if you can, uh, the PC VR will be always the high performance, the real, the high quality. Um, and it, it will provide you much better experience. The headsets that are lower cost will provide something that will be more affordable, but people that cannot afford the PC, the headset, and also the wireless piece, that all, in one, all, all that thing is pretty expensive. So what will change the market really will be lowering the price of the PC and the headset. So uh, how much does this cost? Uh, the, Typical product that we're shipping today is $299. Uh, as we go, we'll, I believe we'll be able to lower the price as the volume goes up. 
and uh, we'll be able to make much better pro uh, products with uh, with time. That's kind of. So you're coming. just waiting to see how the market goes and basically adapt to what's being pushed out. Uh, yes, of course. Uh, when the volume today we just started shipping, so the volume is still not there. Once the volume picks up, if everybody will will enjoy that. What are you guys looking to do uh, for the near future? Say, like in two to three years' time. Okay, so uh, we have the the PCVR. We we talked about the lower cost headsets. We are looking also to we are t we announced that we teamed up with Huawei, where we are doing a 5G mobile network uh, con communication. So Tipicast will play a major role in the codec and the, the encoder and decoder where we'll be compressing the data on both sides. So that's kind of a technology that we are working on and we'll show a proof of concept pretty soon. I, I mean, China is a big player, obviously, and you guys are also based in China and the fact that you're working with Huawei. What's, what's the virtual reality seem like in China? Are there more people buying Tipicast there? Uh, China is different market, as you said. It's kind of the budgets are lower, so they are looking for something that will be a mobile and really accessible to all the users, and not just the people that can buy the equipment. So this new model is this? Uh, does this work with the new uh, Vive Pro headset? Uh, yes. So we 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 have the same model kind of available for the Vive Pro, and that will be announced as we go. And the yeah. deluxe audio head strap as well, is that also compatible? Yes, deluxe head strap, yes, that's correct. Okay, so yes. you're adapting to everything that's coming out. Yeah, they, this can go into the deluxe head strap, that kind of is compatible, we already tested that. And uh, yes, and we'll adapt to the new products coming. Great, that's uh, fantastic. Uh, this looks very interesting, I'd like to try it out. Uh, is there a website that we could go to to find out more information? Uh, Typicastvr.com, that's where we announce the products and we sell them through the website as well. And head over to vrfocus.com if you want to find out more about virtual reality. And I will see you there.